This comes from a thought that is very human, that whatever we have today is the amount that there is, that this is all there is and this is all there ever will be. And you cannot think in a fixed pie way. And the fixed pie way is a really scary way to think because you end up trying to defend the thing that you've got. It becomes very tribal, which is also a problem in the 3D printing industry. But that tribalism and that idea that this is all we've got and we've got to protect it prevents you from seeing how you can grow the pie. If you're growing the pie, it doesn't really matter if other people come in and do it. Like our situation, I hope we have hundreds of more print farms around the world. Hopefully they are the same size as us because they help with this stuff, this communication and the working with the clients and training the industries to switch over to it if there are the resources there. So having more competitors creates a more robust industry to where more people can actually use it because there is competition. It's not like Slant 3D is the only game in town and I'm ticked at them, so I'm not gonna use 3D printing at all. That's not what we want. We want a situation where Slant 3D's ticked me off, so I don't wanna use them anymore. I'm gonna go to this print farm and they can find a solution and then we bounce back and forth. The 3D printing industry can grow so much from this idea that there's enough for all of us because there is, there's a trillion dollars of plastic parts floating around that we could be producing today. And we're not, because there's just not enough print farms out there. So, grow the pie. Don't work to defend your slice. Make the whole thing bigger, and your slice will grow with it. And while you're making it bigger, you can probably grab some of the new pie that's showing up. Anyhow, 